So you may remember that the various systems that make up your body, the muscular system, the cardiovascular system, the respiratory system and so on, are coordinated by two main systems. These coordinating systems are the nervous system and the endocrine system. We're going to look at the endocrine system here, its structure, how it works and what kind of signals it sends. Like the nervous system, the endocrine system is a signaling system, but it tends to be slower acting and the signals last for a longer time. Whereas the nervous system sends speedy bioelectrical signals through the specially adapted nerve cells, that's the neurons, the endocrine system uses biochemical signals called hormones, which are transported around the body in the bloodstream. So what are hormones? Well, these signals that are sent by the endocrine system are just chemicals, molecules, that are dissolved in the blood and travel around the body. They can hang around in your system for hours or days. There is a different hormone for each kind of signal that the body needs. Some hormones, like adrenaline and insulin, are for regulating, that means controlling, day-to-day -day changes, like keeping your blood sugar levels steady. Others are for gradual change, like the growth hormone, which regulates the growth of your body. And others are to control big body changes like puberty, that's the sex hormones, or pregnancy, oxytocin. Many hormones have more than one effect, that is, they can be used to send different messages to different parts of the body. For instance, oxytocin, though it is really important in childbirth, is actually also a hormone that has a big effect on how you feel when you interact with other people. It's sometimes called the love hormone. The many hormones used by your body are produced by organs called endocrine glands, and we'll learn about those in a later video. But how can a molecule be a signal? Imagine that a message needs to be sent to a group of cells to get them to produce more of something. We'll call these the target cells. They're the ones that the message needs to be sent to. One of the endocrine glands will secrete the appropriate hormone molecule for that task. That means the cells in that gland produce it and then release it into the bloodstream. The hormone molecules are transported around the body by the cardiovascular system and they bump into the surfaces of all kinds of cells. Only the target cells will have the right kind of receptor. A receptor is a larger molecule that acts like a sticky patch that catches the hormone molecules. When a hormone molecule becomes stuck to the right kind of receptor, it causes a change in the target cell. And when that change happens, that's the signal being received. So each type of signal has a particular hormone molecule, and each type of molecule only sticks to the right kind of receptor. And the right kind of receptor is attached to the target cell for that message. So that way, even though the hormones travel through the whole body, through that whole cardiovascular system, the signal will only be received by the cells that need it.